Yo, what's up guys? So we're here today. I told you we were gonna do this. I'm actually doing it. Uh, Tyler Hicks hit me up the other day and he wanted me to paint some baits up for him. He said he had a challenge for me. Boy, did he ever have a challenge. He sent me two of these Acme Hyperglide baits. Uh, the crazy thing about them, if you can tell, they have moving parts, these little flappy dee wings here. There's a lot of challenges that this presents me. My clear coat process is gonna be a lot different in this. And just how small they are is gonna be hard to paint. Without further ado, I'm gonna get into this. The first one I will be painting is this up here. A uh, little trout fry, a little rainbow trout. So that's the idea and uh, let's see what I can do. Okay, now we're gonna go over this whole thing with a white base coat. Okay, so my camera failed on me at some point there. Uh, wasn't I able to capture all of that? But basically I'm just putting white all over this thing. So, I will continue that journey. Well, my stupid GoPro's giving me a bunch of issues and actually failed on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this gun set back up so it'll spray and finish uh, base coating this. Not used to painting off uh, my camera, so bear with me for all the focus changes there. Oh, I need to add some more paint. I mean, it's coming out, it looks white. Gonna heat set this, definitely before I let those wings close. Everything still seems to be moving. I'm gonna give this thing a little bit more coating here. There's our white base coat. I'm gonna come back and hit it with a hair dryer. Then we'll hit it with our glow. Um, I'm pretty. I think we can do this, guys. I think we can do it. All right. I added in a mixture with some glow paints, and now we're going to make the magic happen. It's hard to see if this is working. Oh yeah, it's working, I can see it, never mind. I'm gonna get a good coat on all of this. Gonna make this sucker glow really good. Okay, gonna heat set this, hit it with another coat like that, and then we'll flip her over, and we'll do the other side. All right, so the next color I'm gonna put is Wicked Silver. I haven't been showing my colors because I've only really used white. Um, so the deal with this color, we're going to hit probably from the eyeball down, um, very light. Light, we're gonna leave the bottom white. One thing I'm gonna do, I gotta keep remember, I gotta remember to keep this thing in frame here. I'm gonna paint in the inside of these silver uh, so that way when these wings flap You'll get a silver flash from there if that makes sense because out here We'll have pink and green and some other stuff going on. So I'm Going to give it a little bit of silver. I might overdo it, but we can always correct that with our other colors Just 
just got gray. Well, it's silver, but it's going to look gray. We're leaving the bottom like it is to get the extra glow. There you can see it right there. Man, I cannot wait till I get my new camera, guys. I have a new Canon M50 on the way. It will definitely make these look a lot better. There you go. There's the shot. Alright, the next color, I'm going to use this uh, Folk Arc Metallic Peridot. It makes a really good fishy green. We're just going to shoot it on the spine here to get it down the sides a little bit. Not too much, though. Got our green to silver fade. I'm going to heat set that to make sure I don't mess it up. Okay, so next up, I'm going to add the pink lines that these little guys are famous for. I'm going to try to go eyeball to the tail there. I want to, whoa, whoa, a little weird focus there. I want to try to do it real soft and small, so bear with me here. Looks like that. To this side. Alright, we got a... Starting to look like a little trout there. I'm going to go ahead and darken up the back. Oh man, those freaking wings. Need to stay down, wings. like that all right now I'm gonna add some details on this sucker get my little stencil so this isn't really color match uh, one thing these guys have is these vertical uh, stripes or like ovals here they're for when predators uh, attack or they're not for when predators attack they're just like it helps them blend in. It's camouflage. I don't know why I can't say that. So, I made this right here with my Cricut. I don't know why everything's on the left today. There you go. Made this with my Cricut. So, we're going to figure out how to line this sucker up, like, right in here. And give this guy some bar, uh, little ovals there. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Starting to take shape. Right, got some fins for this guy. Just kind of match what the factory gave me here. Go a little bit darker. I always go over the back set. That could have been bad.
All right, so there it's mostly done. I need to add a couple more um, details, like little tiny dots on the top. And yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to add. It's looking like a little trout to me. I'm gonna finish up these spins here. Boom. Now, this thing does glow. I will get a glow example at the end so you guys can see the glow on this thing is going to be. I'll be right back with the final details. One of the final details is I got this transparent black paint I super watered down with um, reducer. And I'm going to go ahead and just dabble some dots on this sucker. Nothing crazy. The I did add, like I said, I put a transparent black and reduced it so that way these dots will fade. Got a couple dots, got those bars, got my pink and my green on it. Definitely more pink than I set out to do. But I will tell you that I'm super happy with it so far. Um, time to get some eyes on this guy. And then we'll figure out clear coat. Look at these cute little guys. Eyeballs are freaking tiny. I had to special order them because I don't keep eyeballs this small around. But it fits in there just like it should. Wow. There we go. Get a little bit of focus for you. Again, I apologize for the camera. This thing is... My GoPro crapped. We're using my cell phone. Man, look at the eyeballs on that sucker. I think that kind of looks like a trout, baby. What do you guys think? Man, come on, camera. There you go. More importantly, what do you think, Tyler? Um, I'm going to go ahead and clear coat this guy, and we'll get back to you after that. guys well you got to see the first one we did uh, here's the finished product here a little trout um, it still has its flapping wings which was part part of the deal I had to do um, action still there little bars like a baby trout my camera doesn't really want to there you go baby trout um, in typical fashion my logos down there it's hard to see but it's there the best part about this guy there you go it glows like a like a mofo I will uh, give you some pictures in the dark right here all right so how did I do you guys let me know down in the comments obviously I'll get to know what Tyler thinks soon I'm gonna send off his lures today. Stay tuned next week. Um, I will have the other one. It's actually in the shop, but you can't see it. Uh, comment down below if you can find it. Um, other than that, I don't got nothing else to say. 
uh, tight lines from Dave's Danglers, um, Poser Dave Outdoors, and Spilt Milk Productions. Stay tuned for part two coming up next week. Mm -hmm.